Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Valerie Dyson and I'm going to be sharing some of the friend mail I got today. And yes, um, so my friend Ida sent me a few makeup products from Isadora. And yeah, I hope she doesn't mind, but I'm going to share what um, her postcard she sent me. But it says, I just want to say thank you for your support. Here comes a small Christmas present from Sweden. Hope you like the products. Hugs. And it says, hi, my friend from Ida DD5. And that's her channel name. I will have uh, her info down below. And yeah, go check it out. I absolutely love her channel. Um, I love her accent. Um, she speaks very good English. In my opinion, she always says um, that she doesn't speak in good English or um, she might, I don't know. I think she talks really good um, to be her like third language, I think she said it was. Like, she speaks it better than me and that's my only language. <laughs> but, um, yeah, uh, she sent me these Isadora products because you can't get them in the U.S. Um, I did find a couple on Amazon, so you might can find some products on Amazon, but pretty much um, you can't find any of them here in the U.S., but I am so glad she sent it to me. But anyways, I'm going to show a little clip of me trying on all the products. I'll see you at the end of the video with my thoughts and opinions of each product.
So I'm going to share my thoughts of, and opinions of each of the items I tried out. And this is the Isadora um, Cover Up Foundation and Concealer. And she sent me the color Nude Cover. It's number 62. That's what that product looks like. I absolutely love the pump. As you can tell, it's like a pump. And... Um, in the video you can tell as I'm pumping it kind of spit out but I could actually feel it tightening in here um, as I pumped it because that little bit of air that was left that's just neat I've never had a, 
a foundation pump like that. And I did forget to tell you, all of these products are cruelty free. She checked on it for me and I think that's the sweetest. But anyways, um, as of right now, I just got finished putting it on, doing my introduction. And as you can tell in the video that I am like just so surprised. Um, it's a very full medium coverage, not totally full coverage, but definitely um, has more coverage than like, um, like it has more coverage than the LA Girl um, foundation I've tried and I want to say it might have more coverage than the Milani one, but I haven't tried it in a while and I don't have it here to compare, but I'm, I'm liking it. It is settling down in my fine lines, but most products do. Um, like right through here. As you can tell, and right through like here. You might not can tell some of them, but in the chin. And a little bit on my forehead right there but not too too bad yet um it might help um, since I do have such dry skin that's typical for foundation to crack on me um, that's why I normally use oil with my foundation but I didn't do that today just because I wanted to try it out without the oil but I think the oil will make that not as bad Okay, I just touched it up with my little beauty beauty sponge around those creases and um, it's like the settle down spot in my creases just went away. So there's that. Um, I did use a few products from my own collection just because I needed like powder setting spray and uh, some primer. But other than that, those few little things, I think that's all I used that wasn't from this brand but the next thing I tried well actually it was the first but whatever the next thing I tried was the Isadora eyeshadow palette and this is really cool it's um the uh, it's the 50 matte chocolates um eyeshadow palette and I used actually for once more than two colors on my eyes today and I used every single color um okay so I have a little bit of a flashback especially on this one but it is in between these two colors it's not so white um they are all matte colors and they was very easy to apply they have a little bit of kickback but not too bad um I just I, I really like this and this is what I have on my brows too to fill them in that worked great and yeah and that it's like a very creamy especially this one this one's very creamy um, to do on the brow bone and they was easy to blend and they was very pigmented no complaints really loved the eyeshadows um, Another thing I tried was the Isadora Face Sculpture Palette, and this is the color Warm Peach, um, 01 Warm Peach, and it has a bronzer, brush, blusher, and highlighter. And um, I, I used them all. I really loved the highlight in it. It is a very, very nice. It's a very booming one. And I will say it's definitely comparable to the um, Becca. Um, I'm not sure which color, but um, it's very, like the consistency is very comparable. But I think I like this one a little bit more because I found the Becca sometimes is a little bit more kickback to it. This one doesn't have like hardly any kickback if at all but it's really nice and the blush is very pigmented you um I wasn't sure how pigmented it was gonna be 
um, but I dabbed a little too much on and I had to go in with my uh, powder brush to go over it because I did get too much but it's very pigmented and that is true to color um, and I used the um, the bronzer too but I don't really like to bronze my face because I know I'm just scared of bronzer normally but it did go on very nicely and I would can I would compare it to the butter bronzer physicians formula butter bronzer um, I haven't tried I mean I hadn't used that in a while but I would compare it to it um, it is a little bit more pigmented than the one I have but it's like easier to apply and not to mess up as that one in my opinion <laughs> another thing I tried was the Isidore stretch lash mascara um, and yeah so evidently it is the dark blue color and I've I don't think I've ever used a color mascara before but that's what the brush looks like and um well I like more of a volume and volumizing mascara than this one but it did lengthen, lengthen very well and it does good with two coats um, one coat was fine too but it did okay with two coats but I definitely wouldn't do three coats um, but it's not that pigmented of a blue, but yeah, it's okay. And I definitely will use it up. Um, but you know, it's not, it's not going to be one of my favorites, but it's definitely good to use. I definitely see myself completely using this up and using it as a go-to. Um, it's only good for six months. Okay. Which most of my mascaras are only good for six months, but yeah. Another thing I tried was the Isadora Liquid Lip Cream, and that's what that one looks like. And this was the color Blush Babe. Is this one on my lips? And this applicator, y'all, I've never. Oh, first thing, um, it like it's making it where you won't like waste your product but it kind of sucks that it has that stopper because of the fact you can't like if you had like a little bit more on the tip you can't just break it off I guess you can but you know but the applicator itself is kind of like you know slender one side and then water on the other side and is very bendy as you can tell um it's just different <laughs> um but i did i really love it it's a very nice color it's like a go-to color i like to wear so i'll definitely be using this completely up and it's nice and creamy and i like it it's really cool and a couple of the other eyeshadows she did send me but i'm not trying on today is the perfect eyes and this one is cashmere and this one is glossy diamonds and basically it seems like this one wouldn't be like the only kind of um, eyeshadow you would wear like you couldn't do this as a one eyeshadow look this is like just a nice um, glitter shadow to top with another color um, let's see cashmere has more of a like I guess you would call it a taupey undertone and then glossy diamonds has more of the silverish undertone or overtone or whatever you want to call it but they looked pretty cool and I'll eventually get to try them but yeah that is the end of this video i hope you liked it please don't forget to check out dd5's channel i will have all her information listed down below so go check it out and i will also have um her information here on the screen so our one of her latest videos on the screen so you can go over there and click on hers if you go to her channel please tell her valerie dawson sent you she's awesome she loves to do makeup looks and 
just likes um, doing unboxing videos. She does glossy box unboxing and she's just a very genuine person and yeah, I, I highly suggest you to go check her out. Um, but yeah, that is the end of this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I will see y'all buddies next time. Bye!